Hello everyone. Today we're going to review the asset creation and amendment process in Salesforce Revenue Lifecycle Management. First, we're going to look at how we can create assets from a quote. Then we're going to look at the account assets and see how we can create the amendment from there. And once the amendment has been processed, we're going to review the asset dashboard and see the information we can get from there. All right, in Salesforce, you've got your quote. The quote already has the products added to it. I've got one subscription product where it's a paper miles option for the full self-driving, right? So the customer upfront is buying 10,000 miles of allowance for a year from 1124 to 123124. Now we want to create the assets for this quote. So first we need to create the order. Top right, we're going to click the create order button. Order 130 was created. Let's click on our order. Now our order gets all the same products that we add on our quote. Everything's on here, the car, the subscription. Now from here to get the assets created, we wanna activate the order. So let's click on active, update the status. And in the background, there's a standard flow that you can customize, but the standard flow, let's switch over there for a second, creates from an Apex action, all the assets from your order, right? So as soon as a record is updated, the status is equal to active, the action takes over in the action. The record ID of the order is passed through and that creates all the assets. Now, if we want to look at the assets, let's move over to our account. On the account under the assets tab, we'll see a list of the assets that they own. If we look at the bottom model tree, we see the subscription product on there, the full self-driving paper miles for a quantity of 10,000. If we click through on the product, we can see all the details for that specific asset. And if we look at the dashboard, we can see the current quantity, the current monthly recurring revenue for that product. And we can see the evolution. Now, right now we haven't processed anything on this besides the initial sale, as we can see on the related asset actions related list, right? Initial sale for a quantity of 10,000. Now the customer comes back middle of the year realizes that this quantity is not going to be enough. We need to process an amendment for this. So let's go back to our account. Now we want to select the parent product to process our amendment. Click on amend. May 8, 2024 is going to be the start date. We hit submit. Now it's going to create our quote amendment quote. Now again, this is a flow that operates in the background to create this amendment quote. This is the standard one that comes along with Salesforce Revenue Lifecycle Management, and it can be modified to handle different types of outputs and different ways to handle that process. Now, once our quote is created, we can see that the products are on here. All the quantity is zero because we haven't modified it yet. Total price is zero as well. We can see the start dates have been changed to 5-8-2024. Now we want to modify the quantity because the customer doesn't have enough miles for the rest of the year. The quantity we're going to enter is going to be the quantity that we are adding on to the current total. So they currently have 10,000. If they want to move to 15,000, we're going to add 5,000 more. Click out and save. The system will calculate the 5,000 times the 42 cents and going to prorate it based on what's remaining on the year for a total price of 1368. All right, once this is complete, if we want to update our assets, we need to first create our order. So let's create an order. Order 131 is created. Let's click through on this. Again, we have our product. Everything matches what we had on the quote. And if we want the assets to be updated, we need to activate this. Let's set the status to activated. All right, there we are. Order is activated, which triggered the asset creation and update process. So now if we go back to our account under the assets related list, scroll down to our full self-driving, now we can see that the current quantity is 15,000. Let's click through on the asset. Under the asset actions, we can see we had the initial sale, which we had earlier for 10,000, and we can see the upsell for 5,000 additional paper miles credits. Now, if we go to the dashboard, we can see the quantity dashboard, right? So it started at 10,000 until today, 5.8 where it went up to 15,000 total, and the monthly recurring revenue goes up on that date as well. And you can dive deeper to view the MRR changes on that dashboard. So that's gonna keep evolving as you modify your assets 
on this. All right, this was the asset creation and amendment process. Please subscribe if you want to keep diving into the Salesforce RLM features as we move forward with this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.